Hey guys, uh, I was going to do a video for you of this cool little Max 4 6x6 amphibious vehicle that I purchased. And uh, <clears throat> I was going to do a video of showing you guys how to operate it and run it around and down through the pasture and stuff like that. But the <clears throat> problem is we had an issue with it already uh, the second day that I went to play with it. <clears throat> And it will not go, it, it will not shift out of forward gear. So the lever right here is the shift lever, but I cannot for the life of me to get it, get it to move back to shift into neutral or reverse. So underneath the engine is the transmission and it's down in here. Oh, <laughs> it's down in there, but, uh, the shifter rods run right in this area on both sides and they have to shift backwards together and there's uh, apparently a little pin down in there that we're going to have to check and see if it's damaged or not. So we are going to have to pull this engine out of here or at least slide the engine forward to be able to get to that transmission. So I'm going to start working on that. We're going to start with tearing the battery terminals off. You always want to disconnect the battery first. And then we're going to check for any wires or lines around the back. That belt's probably going to have to come off. And then it's going to have to get unbolted from down below to get shifted forward and or possibly removed if we need to. We'll see how it goes. So we've shifted the engine forward. I did not have to take the fuel line or the throttle cable off or the choke, but I did take the wiring harness off of it. But now we're down to the transmission area. And this is a T20 transmission. Uh, they use these, it's basically a skid loader transmission. But this is the area that needs to be addressed. These are the two shifter areas. And there's what's called a diamond. There's a diamond plate right here and a diamond right there. I don't know if you can see it easily. And then there's a retainer bracket on top of it. We're gonna have to pull this off to be able to slide that diamond up. But I wanna get these shifter rods off of here first. And this one looks like it's way out of adjustment too. I don't know about that one. And that might be part of our problem is if the shifter arms don't shift at the same time, it can't drop into gear. So we're gonna take a look at that, see what we can find, and go from there. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull these cotter pins to get these shifter arms off of here. There we go. So I just want to pull those pins to get these arms loose from the diamond area. Because I want to see if I can see if I can turn those uh, <coughs> turn these diamond things and get it to actually engage, and that'll tell me whether it's the linkage or if it's actually in the transmission itself. Somebody doesn't have this cotter pin in here properly. That was barely in there. We'll drop this pin out. that one off. There it is. All right. 
So with those pins removed, there's the diamond piece and it, it doesn't want to turn at all. And my, my suspicion is, I don't know if it's going to be, I want to try to get some light so you guys can see that without being in front of the camera. Okay, that's a little better there. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to come in here and take this bracket off of here because this bracket is what holds down this shifter area. So I'm going to pull the bolts on that. that one yeah there we go I don't even have to take it out completely I just need to get this plate up off of here and then this is supposed to pop up out of there let's see if I can put a screwdriver under it and pop that pop that plate up there it goes so there it actually turned and shifted which is good but I want to try to get this out of here because we want to check the condition of it. There we go. It's sliding up out. Maybe. There it comes. So, all right. So what we're looking at here is basically just that diamond piece right there where the rod goes into. And then down inside, there's an O-ring. And then basically a pin that's on there. And we're looking for any flat spots or damage on that pin. And the pin actually looks to be in pretty good shape. But this gets crud in here. And... Any crud that's down in there is going to seize that up to where it doesn't want to move easily. So we're going to, basically, we're going to clean this up really, really well. We're going to re-grease that O-ring. And we're going to check down in the inside that hole and see what it looks like in there. Down inside. Down inside there. And that, it's, there's not much light, but I want to, I want to make sure that's clean, free of debris. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull the same thing out on the other side over here and check that as well because now that that is engaged there, this side doesn't want to move. I'm wondering if it's this side that didn't want, didn't want to shift. So let's get the other side apart and we'll take a look at it. Okay, that side came out as well, and I'm looking at the pin on that, and it looks fairly clean, but this looks really, really dirty. Now, there is a left and a right side to these, so I don't want to get them mixed up, so I'll keep these with their respective sides. I actually put the other one on that side, so I'm going to move it. <clears throat> but I'm going to get these cleaned up and stick them back in, and hopefully we can get it to shift properly, and then after that, we're going to have to probably adjust those arms that come back for the shifter linkage itself and try to get those balanced so it'll shift a little better. Okay, so I got the I got the piece cleaned up here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of high, uh, high temperature grease. Now, I don't know if that transmission gets super hot or anything like that, but I'm I cleaned this up really, really well and got all the crud off of it. Now there's an O-ring right there. You want to make sure that's in good shape, but I'm going to put uh, a healthy amount of grease on this, especially up around this top ring here. That O-ring seals it so it doesn't get crud down into it, but this thing has to twist down inside that hole that's right there. So what we want to do 
is get that good and greased up. And I made sure that everything was clean down there, but I'm gonna drop this back in. And that, there we go. That should go in nice and free. So what I wanna do is I wanna test this now and see if I can shift this forward. So I got this other one in already. I'm gonna bump it a little bit here to see if I can, oh, there it goes. There it goes, and that's, that's in forward gear. There's back to neutral. And there is reverse gear for both of them. So that's gonna work. I think these things were just kind of crudded up real bad. So now what we need to do is we need to make sure that these two arms, when they connect here, are fairly balanced. And it already looks like they are not very balanced. We wanna make sure those two arms are balanced when we put those pins back in there. So when we go to pull on the shifter in the front, those two, those two diamond tabs can try to engage back there at the same time. So that's what we're gonna to try to do. We'll see, see how it goes here. So what I'm referring to, so if you, if you didn't catch on to it, I'm gonna turn the light on here. If you didn't catch on to it, so from the front, this rod right here that runs back basically has a shaft that goes through this. And when you push back on it, basically there's a little bit of play in here because this is double nutted and then there needs to be so that can pivot forward and back. So right now it's in reverse. If I look at the other side, you can see that this shaft right here, look at the long adjustment on there. So I think these are supposed to be balanced from side to side. Now I've never worked on one of these before, so I'm not 100% sure, but what I think I'm gonna do is try to adjust those to where these are a little more balanced and see if that shifts in and out of gear a little better. If you guys have worked on these before and you know more about this transmission than I do, please let me know in the comments because I'm open to, open to any info on these. I'm just looking at this as, I'm mechanically inclined, so I'm looking at it as a mechanical device and trying to figure out, okay, why didn't this shift right? So I'm gonna balance these out, which is basically, I'm just gonna take these nuts loose and see if I can get that to where it slides evenly back and forth. So now I know I don't have the top retainer plates on there, but I'm going to go ahead and go up to this front lever and see if I can get it to shift. Oh. All right, so there's forward gear, there's neutral, and there's reverse. It seems to be, it seems to be sliding into gear a lot nicer than it was before. It was not doing that, the, the shifter was completely stuck before. So I think I'm going to take a little bit more play out of those and see what that does. And then uh, after that, I'm gonna put these, put these retainer plates back down in place. That just keeps that from walking up out of there. And then I'll shift the motor back into place and uh, get the belt reconnected and hopefully Hopefully this thing will be uh, up and going again today and we can go out and play with it a little bit and, and do another video for you. So 